This is the first section of chapter seven on algebraic methods. And this section is all about algebraic fractions. So if we want to simplify an algebraic fraction, there are two things we need to do. Factorize the algebraic expressions in the numerator and denominator. That's if it's possible to factorize them. And then once we factorize them, we look for common factors in the numerator and the denominator and we cancel them down. So cancel down or cancel out or cross out any common factors. Example one, we want to simplify these algebraic fractions. So we'll start with part A. So we want to look to see how we can factorize the top of this. I've just got X at the bottom. Now the top, X has got a factor in each one of these terms. So I can take that out and in brackets, I'll have seven X cubed minus two X squared plus six all over X. There's a common factor at the top and the bottom and that's the X. So we can cancel that down now. Um, we don't need to factorize this any further because that won't help in any cancelling down. There's nothing else to cancel out. So our final answer will just be 7x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6. OK, part B. So what I've got here, the top is already factorized for me, which is handy. And then in the bottom, I've got this 2x minus 1. So I don't need to factorize, it's done already. I can see the common factors, the two X minus one. So I can just cross those out. And what I'm left with is X plus seven. Now actually when we cancel out, we're actually replacing these with the number one. So I've actually got X plus seven times by one over one. Now there's no point in writing that. So there's no point in me writing this because actually it, it remains the same. So when we cancel down, things don't become zero. They actually become the number one. So we'll take those out because we don't need those. Just the X plus seven will do. OK, part C. So we've got X squared plus seven X plus 12 over X plus three. Now there's a sort of clue as to what it will become when I factorize it. I'm hoping that when I factorize the top, I'll have an X plus three. Now, I'm not going to assume that because that may not be the case, but actually I know that I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give 12, add to give seven. That's going to be three and four. So it actually is X plus three, X plus four. And then I've got the X plus three at the bottom. So I can see what to cancel out. The X plus three. Remember, they become ones, not zeros. So we're just left with X plus four part D and we have X squared plus six X plus five over X squared plus three X minus 10. Right. So let's start with factorizing the top two numbers that multiply to give me five and add to give me six. So that's five and one. So X plus five X plus one. Then in the Denominator, two numbers that give me, multiply to give me negative 10 and add to give me um, three. So those two numbers like five and two. So I just need to work out what signs to put in there. So five and two. Now to get a plus three, I want a plus five and a minus two. Right now, can you see here I've got the common factors which I can cancel out. There's nothing else that can cancel out. So that will just leave me with X plus one over X minus two. Now you can put it in brackets. There's actually no need. It doesn't make any difference when you've just got a single um, sort of term like that. So the last one is part E here. So you've got two X squared plus 11 X plus 12 over X plus three, X plus four. So the bottom is already factorized. We just need to factorize the top. Now there are all sorts of different methods to try and factorize the top. 
I'm just going to sort of try it and do it by looking at it. So I know that it's going to be 2x and x in the brackets to give me the 2x squared. There's no other combination. And I know if I want to get 12, it's either going to be 12 and 1, 4 and 3, either way round, or it's going to be 6 and 2, but I know it's going to be positive. Now, by going through the different combinations, it's actually going to be 2x plus 3 and x plus 4, because you'll have 2x times by 4, which is 8. Then you'll times these to get another 3x to get the 11. OK, so 2x plus 3x plus 4. As I said, there are lots of different methods um, to do this. And you can have a look at one of my GCSE videos. I'll put a link in the description up at the top uh, where you can go to that and have a look maybe at some of the methods we can use. Right. So the x plus 4 is a common factor. So those get crossed out and that just leaves us with 2x plus 3 over x plus 3. Now, do not make this mistake. Some students will say, oh, hang on, there's a plus 3 here and a plus 3 there. Let's cross that out and get 2x over x. And then they'll say, oh, there's an x at the bottom. Let's cross those out. That will be incorrect. Those are not common factors. Just because you see the same number at the top and the bottom, is it a factor? This 3 is not a factor at the bottom and it's not a factor at the top. It must be a complete factor to be able to cancel it out. Yeah. Another common error is to see this. Oh, look, here's x plus 3. There's x plus 3, so it's just 2. Again, x plus 3 is not a factor of the top part. You may appear in the top, but it's not a factor. So please don't make those errors. So there's all our answers highlighted. So you should now be able to do exercise 7a on pages 138 to 139.